YouTube, Jaquin Shinobi here with an unboxing of Skylanders Battlecast. Now for those of you that don't know, Skylanders Battlecast is basically Skylanders take on the card game genre mixed in with the mobile phone game that plays a lot like Hearthstone, which makes sense because this is Activision and Activision owns Blizzard, but anyhow. Uh, so it, it's kind of a neat little concept because not only do you have physical cards that you can collect via booster packs and battle packs, but you also have the Skylanders Battlecast mobile game, which, like I said, plays a lot like Hearthstone does. And so you can have, like, this physical game as well as this mobile game, and they interact with one another. You can import cards, and it's actually pretty cool. And a uh, huge thanks to Activision for hooking me up with these uh, to demonstrate the game, show you what these are all about, and I'm really looking forward to checking it out. Skylanders is a franchise that I haven't really delved too much into lately. I was huge into it during uh, the original and Giants kind of fell by the wayside during Swap Force and then Trap Team onward. I was just casually keeping up with it. I wasn't buying anything from the franchise. So it's a franchise I do like. I just don't really do much with anymore. But hopefully Battlecast will change that because you all know I love my card games. So these are available in two different ways of purchase. You can get these eight card booster packs, which are look identical to Magic or Pokemon or pretty much anything that uses this sort of blister card for booster packs as well as two different battle packs now battle packs are 22 card sets that i believe according to the solicits that i received and just by looking at it i believe they're all the same so you only have to buy the two battle packs i think because each battle pack includes three determined skylanders so obviously this one includes uh, spyro snapshot and stormblade while the battle pack over here includes Trigger Happy Hex and Smash Hit, which looks kind of cool because it looks like a squirrel. I don't know if it's actually a squirrel. Like I said, I haven't been keeping up with the latest entries in the series. So those are 22 packs, and those all contain character cards, gear cards, relic cards, and spell cards. And each of those cards are going to do certain things in your game uh, to help strengthen your deck. Obviously, you attack with spells, relics will help you, gear will in, uh, enhance your characters, and you have a team of three characters. So, kind of everything you need is in one of the battle packs. And of course, like I said, you had an eight pack, uh, eight pack, eight card uh, booster packs as well. So, the battle cast game on the phone is entirely free, and we'll go ahead and take a look at that as well, either at the end of this video or in a separate video. I haven't quite determined it yet. But I do have some extra cards uh, right here, so I'm going to go ahead and show off the cards right now. So here's an example of one of the hollow foil cards. And the reason I'm covering up certain sections of this card is they, they sent me a trading, uh, what do they call it, a trading shield. And I'll show that off because one is included in the battle packs. But basically, it's this little cardboard sleeve that you put the card in, and so when you go to show a card via video or image, you have to put it in this trading sleeve because otherwise you see those a couple of those dots along the edges of the card. That's how the game reads what card it is. And supposedly each card has an individually unique pattern to it. And I'll get to that in a little bit once we open up some more packs. So like this Warly Birds card, I scanned into my game already. So no one else is able to scan that into their game and claim it. On the other hand, you have the... Uh, Skylanders cards, like Stealth Elf here, this came with the Superchargers game, which I did briefly own. Um, but yeah, so this image uh, right here, I scanned into my game, I claimed it, I unlocked Stealth Elf in the game, and then my girlfriend was able to unlock Stealth Elf with it too. So I don't know if maybe the Skylander cards you can scan multiple times, but as we open up more cards, uh, we will see what they do. So first up is the 8-card booster packs. Like I said, we have two. These are available for $4.99 at most major retailers, and the entire game came out on the App Store as well as uh, retail stores via the, the booster packs and stuff here on uh, May 24th. I believe it was, it was Tuesday. So here's a look at uh, the booster packs. We had uh, the, the potion guy, I'm drawing a blank on his name, Pop Fizz. And then we have Jetvac on here, so the packs don't always match up. But let's go ahead and uh, just jump right in, let's get these open. Alright, so like I said, things are going to get a little bit difficult because I can't show the card. Now all these will be scanned into my game by the time 
uh, like they come out and stuff so you don't really have to worry about thieving the cards but you have a spell card first aid restore 20 health to uh, your active ally this hasn't swapped this turn restore 60 health to it instead so that's pretty neat so you got that they all have certain like relical things on the bottom and stuff that's the set symbol right there so we have first aid and basically what i'm going to do is just like that because then you can't really see enough of the card to even attempt to scan it. You have Whiplash Bash. This is a spell, I believe, exclusively for Jetvac because that's got his little face up there. There are spells that are exclusive to certain characters. Uh, Shark Attack. So that is for Riptide, I think his name was. Again, if I mess up any of the names, forgive me. Uh, Feast of Fury. That was a little vegetable dude. I forgot his name. Thorncaster. There we go, a Skylander Jet Vac. I loved Jet Vac. It's just my affinity for birds, I think, but I always liked him. Here is a spell, Boo. Very typical. And a spell, Switcheroo. Now, there are rarities to these, but I don't see any rarity symbol on them anywhere, so it might just be their level of holographicness. Maybe? I'm not really sure, but... So that is our first booster pack. Let's go ahead and open up the second one and then we will dive into the battle packs <laughs> they, they, they switched places <laughs> we have pop fizz on this one so there we go and uh, it does say do not photograph and share pictures of your cards without using the trading shield to prevent others from unlocking your cards but like I said if you can unlock them already it doesn't really matter, but... Mood Ring. Mad Energy. Loco Potion. Meteor Strike. Galvanic Armor. Rust. <laughs> Shock. And Bloom. So nothing in the booster packs in terms of anything that is holographic or anything like that. So that's a little bit of a bummer. But let's go ahead and jump into the battle packs. Now like I said, the battle packs include all sorts of cards, characters, gears, relics, spells, a trading shield, a deck box even, and 22 cards total, plus a collection and beginner guide, so we can take a look at that. Uh, these retail for $10 a piece, which is definitely not too bad. Like I said, I don't really recall if they're kind of predetermined or not. Uh, the kind of like the box and stuff makes it sound like it's predetermined, but it might be predetermined on a small level. Like you always get the same Skylanders, but the cards inside might be a little bit different. Did, really? I, I should have guessed I was opening it from the wrong end, but I'm not the brightest. Okay, so the only thing in the actual box is this deck box of cards. So that's a little bit of a waste of package, but hey. So just a small little deck box. Uh, decks on Battlecast are 30 cards, so you could fit a physical deck in here, no problem. So you have that, just a little paper deck box. Uh, Pokemon does this a lot. I don't know about other card games, but... Alright, so there is our little box. And then here is the trading shield that I was talking about. And so basically what this does is you can, I'm going to flip everything around. You take your card and you slide it in there. And so now you can't see the code on the card. So if you were trying to sell this bloom card or post it up somewhere for a trade, then you can now take a picture of it without anyone unlocking it. So basically, like if you get this bloom card, you don't want to scan it in, you just want to sell it. Say, hey, here is a unclassified uh, or unclaimed bloom card. This is going to sell for a quarter or whatever. And so you take a picture of it like this in the trading shield so nobody can scan it while you post your cards up on eBay and such. So it, it's an, an unhelpful little thing. Um, in terms of doing video work like I am, it's kind of pain in the butt because I don't want to put every single card in the trading shields. Like I said, I was just covering up certain sections of it. Um, but anyway, this is the 
Become the ultimate battle caster. Cards to life. Because this is where we're at now. <laughs> Bring the Skylanders to life. There's a cool sort of um, AR system where the Skylander will come up and you can play with it, sort of. Um, and I'll demonstrate that. Uh, cards to life, single player, multiplayer, collection. Combine duplicate cards to level up. So if you get extras and you want to scan them into your game, you can use them to level up your uh, characters. So that's kind of neat. Protect your cards. Do not photograph or share pictures of your cards without the training shield. Every battle cast card you scan is tied to your account. Use the included training shield to protect your cards from getting scanned by someone else. Like I said, they're making a big deal about it, and I understand. But, I mean, if you get them and scan them in right away, it doesn't really matter. But you got to protect your investment, I believe. So here are the character cards, the Skylanders, that are available in this first assortment. You have Stormblade, Smash Hit, Spitfire, Stealth Elf, Spyro, Trigger Happy, Hex, Snapshot, Jetvac, Crusher, Hothead, Food Fight, Pop Fizz, Jawbreaker, Roller Brawl, Riptide, Whirlwind, Flash Wing, Eruptor, Tree Rex, Ninjini, Countdown, Crypt King, and Wash Buckler. So you get three of every uh, type of Skylander, and then spells, relics, and gears. Collect all 270 cards. And so here are the uh, commons, rares, epics, and ultimates. So it depends on the color of the... It's not even the set symbol. I don't know what that is. Color of the border, maybe? I don't know. No, it's the thingy at the bottom. Yeah, it's the thingy at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This is all new to me. So, <laughs> let's take a look at what this battle pack has in store for us. Alright, so right off the bat, we have Spyro. This is one of the Skylanders that the game, I think, automatically starts you out with. So you can take a look at this card, level up your Spyro in the game, or what have you. We got that. We have Snapshot. I'll move a little bit so you can see his health. And that's how much damage he does. And Stormblade. Stormblade's really cool again. Affinity for birds. <laughs> uh, amplifier. Gear for Spyro. Uh, hookshot. Beam Barrage. There is another Snapshot. Flame Wave. Portal Blast. Uh, Swarm Welcome. So this is a spell for Crypt Keeper. I think that, that's, that's not his name. Crypt King is his name. Crypt Keeper is from Tales of the Crypt. But anyway, uh, so it leads me to believe these might actually be assorted cards because Crypt King's not in here, obviously. So, hey, Sky Iron Shield. A hollow card, we got douse, a spell, blast each enemy for 40 damage, and mute them. I don't know what muting does. Uh, we got <laughs> heat stroke. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing to name a card, but anyhow. Uh, slow burn, galvanic armor, horns first, soul survivor, <laughs> I get it, disco brawl, Douse. Again, this one is not a hollow douse. Spitfire. Uh, this is one of the cards that came with the game. So I, I had Spitfire already, so I'll take a look at that in a moment. And goodie bag. Cool, cool. Beam Barrage is our last card in that set. So hold on one moment. So right off the bat, just by looking at these are both Spitfire and then these are the two douses that I just got. Just by looking at those little sections of the barcodes, you can tell, not barcodes, but dot patterns or whatever, you can tell that they're not identical. So every single card has a unique dot pattern, which makes printing difficult, I would imagine. That's kind of incredible if you really want to think about it. So despite the fact that I was able to scan Spitfire in both my game and my girlfriend's game, um, they do all have different uh, little dot patterns, so there you go. All right, and so here is the second of the battle packs. And real quick, I do want to point out that I totally missed this the first time. I'm sure plenty of you caught it. Uh, including inside Trigger Happy, Hex, and Smash Hit character cards plus three fixed spell cards. So every battle pack is going to come with those three uh, Skylanders as well as three uh, spell cards that go along with 
those uh, specific Skylanders. So there's six cards of the 22 that are absolutely fixed, that won't change. But all of the other cards are random in here. So this is basically like a giant booster pack, uh, give or take. And I just threw away the training shield and stuff that was in there. So like I said, it comes with another training shield. I have three now, as well as this little booklet that we took a look at already. All right, so there's Smash Hit, Hex, Trigger Happy, Concussion, Impending Doom, Rummage, Shiny Helmet, Spitfire, again, <laughs> my Spitfire in the game is going to be strong, uh, Trick Shot, Shark Attack, Mind Blown, a Hollow Lightning Strike, my father's hammer, strafing run, galvanic armor, power surge, azurite weather vane, ah. <laughs> soul search, soul scorch rather, mind reader, heart of the forest, and tree wrecked, a goodie bag. I always like get ahead of myself by one card. So there is a look at all of the cards that we pulled. So we got a nice little assortment of spells and Skylanders and relics and gear and all of that fun stuff. I have to say I do like uh, the artwork and stuff on the cards uh, a lot. Now the way that the cards work, the whole trading shield thing is definitely a bit of a bummer and it makes doing stuff like this fairly difficult. Like I said, I am going to scan all these in before the video goes live, but if you don't, you kind of have to worry about all the barcode things, and I think there's some cards that you can scan more than once, like the Skylanders did in me and my girlfriend's games, so I, I don't really know. It, it makes this difficult to unbox, is what I'm trying to say, but if you don't care about the, uh, the aspects of the, the phys not the physical game, but the, the digital game, then you don't really have to worry about it as much, but it does make uh, stuff like this kind of difficult to do. You kind of have to work around it with your hands and stuff, which is a little bit of a bummer. But at $5 a pack and $10 a battle pack, this is a little bit more difficult to collect than most card games. Uh, Pokemon's only $4. I think Magic is around the same price, so they're a little bit more expensive. But given how much effort they have to put in to make all these unique dot patterns... The a little bit extra price over most card games uh, kind of makes sense uh, in the long run. But uh, I love the fact that you can not only build a physical deck with the cards, but you can scan those cards into the game and build your deck digitally too. So if you don't have anyone to play with physically, you can scan the cards that you collect and play it digitally. It's a really cool thing that I kind of wish Pokemon was a little more like with Pokemon TCG Online. But... Uh, that is a discussion for a different day. This is definitely a pretty cool card game. Uh, like I said, it plays a lot like Hearthstone, which I enjoyed playing. Uh, so if you are a fan of that and a fan of Skylanders, or just a fan of Skylanders in general, I do urge you to check out Battlecast. It is definitely really cool. If you want to take a quick look at the game, I will be posting a video about that after this one. So go ahead and check that out right up there. Uh, it's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. But for now, that about does it for this unboxing. If you like it, go ahead and blast that like button, comment below, and subscribe for more. So as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.